hi everyone let us understand job queue in business central so basically job queue is the most popular way of scheduling background process in business central so we will understand what is the job queue and how we can just get access to it so a job queue is a tool that allows to schedule a recurring process if you want to do some uh, process every day by this particular time or every alternate days by this particular time or every week every weekend so in if you want to do some recurring process and what it you can do is you can create a job queue which will also logs the result of the job queue it will tell you whether it is failed or whether it is succeeded so all these things you can understand you can find it in the job queue okay so in order to access the job queue you can just open the business central here if you just go and search job queue entries so here you can see you have a job queue entries so once if you click here job queue entries you can see what are the jobs okay you can see a simple example uh, like simple uh, 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 screen where you can find the job queues okay so here you can see that this is the this is how you can create a job queue okay so if you just click on this new you can create a new job queue there okay so which object uh, only we can uh, create uh, either a report or a coordinate uh, in order to execute in the job queue okay you can schedule either a coordinate or the report okay and if you know the um, number okay that is the id number of the job queue then you can definitely directly go and uh, create it okay so this is what basically uh, we will be doing it in the job queue so here you can see you can simply click here new okay if you click on new you can see the option this is a general tab okay you just, just see here this is the general tab where you can do the basic stuff like here you can see you can select either report or the code unit okay so since i have created a simple code unit here and i'll i'll be using this code unit so what this code unit is doing is what it will initiate and it will assign the uh, name to as executor through job queue will be assigned to name to it will validate and it will be inserted okay so coordinate and what is the id of the coordinate 50114 i'm just giving 50114 so once if you click 50114 you can see what is the caption what is the description and here you can see earliest start time start date and time when it has to run you can tell at when it has to run so i'm just telling by 12 uh, 27 uh 12 has job time out because since 12 am is not possible so i can tell like 28 okay and uh, uh, the process is currently it's on hold because it will only execute on 28 to 2023 12 am okay and if you want to give some more description here you can give if you click on this show more you can see here you have an option called show more here if you just click on this you can see more option available over there so if you want to just uh, you have a parameter string okay and uh, you have a job queue category so if you want to uh, that is if it has its own category which you want to just uh, see if you want to execute so parameter string can set a string for utilizing in the ca uh, coordinate okay and job queue category is what you can set a category to organize entry processes the list of categories can also be accessed through the job queue and here you can see maximum attempts okay maximum number of attempts which specifies how many times a job queue task should be rerun after a job queue fails to run okay so it will try again running the job queue uh, like how many times it has to and this is useful for the situation in which a task might be unresponsive if it is not responsive then it will it will be executing and here you can see return delay okay specifies how many seconds to wait before rerunning the job queue task in the event of the failure and here you can see you also have the expiration date and time it will set an end date for the entry after this particular date this job will not run 
okay so this is what the in the general tab if you click on the recurrence tab okay so this is the recurrence tab you can see uh, so in the recurrence tab you can see various options recurrence job runs on monday runs on tuesday so when you have to run it whether it has to run on monday tuesday wednesday if you don't want it on thursday then leave it if you want it on friday you can enable it so when it has to okay so the recurrence tab can set the periodicity of the process okay so next is like you have a next run date form okay next run date formula so this is like a specifies the date formula that is used to calculate the next time the recurrence job uh, queue entry will run okay and the starting time you have a starting time specifies the earliest time uh, of the day that the recurring job queue entry is to be run and when you set this okay so for example if you if you set the starting date okay um, for example like starting time if you tell like um uh, okay uh, 12 11 okay i'll make it at 10 30 pm okay so i'm just making it so here you can see that uh, uh you can see that the starting time you can end uh, you can specify or the ending time you can specify okay so like that you can just go ahead if you if you do like for example uh okay so now i'm just making it today by 6 6 p.m i'm just specifying like 6 p.m and uh, here i'm just making it at 5 pm okay so once you know if you if it reaches the 5 pm you can see that this whole on hold will make uh, it will be changed to ready okay and it will show you like number of minutes between how many minutes and inactive timeout what is the default one so the ending time you can specify like the latest time of the day that is recurring job entry uh, job and job queue entry is to be run okay and number of minutes between it will calculate the number of minutes specifies the minimum number of minutes that are to elapse between runs of a job queue entry okay so here you can set when and uh, uh, how it has to run okay and other than that you can see that see this is a job queue okay if you click on more job you can see some process here okay if you click on the process you can see that you have various options here okay let us understand about these options so set status to ready so this is for editing a job queue you need the job queue entry to be on hold once it's ready you can set it at ready with the set status to ready okay and here you can see show error is also here if you uh, like it will show the error message if an error occurred during the process the job queue entry will also change its status to error and won't run again until it's it's read, read man, manually and it is changed okay and set on hold so you have an option called set on hold so if you want like by default the on hold status will be on hold okay and the next one is the restart restart it will stop and restart the entry if you want to stop and restart the entry and run once foreground so it will run the process in the foreground in the following uh, like if you want to make it uh, to run uh, then you can click here run once foreground okay so here uh, you can see that this is a job queue and if you want to do automate something then you can just try to use automate here so since we are not going to use any automate here then you can simply stop this okay so this is what you can create a job queue here the job queue is created okay so once if you go back you know you can see that this job queue will be created in your uh, uh, in your thing so this is what on hold uh, to, now we have created this okay job queue my job queue and you can see this is what the log the complete log you can see like when it will be executed and uh, sort on schedule like whether this is a recurring job as this is a recurring job a number of time between okay now if you wanted to edit the job okay so this is the uh, job which we have created if you just click here 
if you click on this three dots you can see the options which are available there in the uh, uh, in our job when we schedule a job no the process we have seen that in the process set status to ready restart run once uh, set on hold and show error so if you want to view this you can click here to again if you want to change you can click here view and uh, like if you wanted to edit you can if you want to change something you can click edit and change something if you wanted to delete you can click here delete and delete this job mm -hmm. okay so this job queue will be definitely useful when because if you wanted to execute something background in the background without affecting your regular work then we'll be setting up this job queue you can set only the um uh, reports and uh, uh, code unit you can either set a report that might be the process only report or usually we will be setting a process only report for the job queue or else code unit if you want to do uh, process and execute any code unit Uh, in the background, then you will be scheduling this in the job queue. So this is a very simple job queue which I have created. Usually, we'll be creating any complex job queues, right? Uh, if it has to go and affect almost multiple records in the background, and it has to bring up the uh, like it has to uh, do some changes in your original uh, table or the database. So we'll be creating like that. We'll be using this job queue. This is used to schedule your job, like whenever it has to schedule, it has to execute, even in without your manual uh, availability or manual appear um, manual interference. Then you can schedule the job and uh, just go and relax. Or else, even if you want to do some work, and the background in the background it has to happen, then you can probably use this job queue here. So this. will definitely help you out in uh, doing your work out of your um, uh, uh, like uh, real presence or uh, without any interference okay hope it will be helpful so you can try a report uh, like a process only report in the job okay process only reports and uh, the coordinates which will work without passing any even like a code in it you can try that so you can see here even you can execute this run once for ground if you want to see if uh, it it can execute okay so job finished executing executing success so let us go and check whether the job has executed let us search for the customer uh, customer card go to the customers so it's a list uh you can just see the name to so executed through job queue so you can see here that it has inserted the record here okay so it has inserted the record we have only added the name to okay we haven't added anything else here so it is inserted so i have executed twice so by default it has inserted three records here what happened is what it's only added the name to because here i have uh, asked it to add only the name to if you want to add all the data you can execute it okay so the job queue is executed so try this if you have any queries please let me know thank you take care bye bye